Women are very special. I think it's a very special time because a lot of things are coming out, and I think that's good for our society, and I think it's very, very good for women. And I'm very happy a lot of these things are coming out, and I'm very happy, I'm very happy it's being exposed. Yeah, that's it, with the gold. I better use some Tic Tacs just in case I start kissing her. You know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. Are you saying that what you said on that bus 11 years ago, that you did not actually kiss women without consent or grope women without consent? I have great respect for women. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. So, for the record, said, you're saying you never I said did that. things that, frankly, you, you hear these things, I said. And I was embarrassed by it, but I have tremendous respect for women. Have you ever and done those things? women have respect for me. And I will tell you, no, I have not. And I will tell you that I'm going to make our country safe. He just started grabbing me and trying to kiss me. And then I realized that he was, that he was putting his hand up my skirt. And I'm talking to my friend who I'm sitting to and across from um, on my left side. I'm very clear on this. This is the vivid part for me. So the person on my right who, unbeknownst to me at that time, was Donald Trump, put their hand up my skirt. He did touch my vagina through my underwear. Absolutely. Donald sat me right next to him. He placed me right next to him. And that was the time when he started to go for it and had his hand on my leg, moving forward, and went for it, touching my private parts. Pushing me up against the wall, forcing me to kiss, uh, you know, forcing a kiss on me, and again with his hands all over my body and up again my dress with the hands. And it was at that time where he turned to me and um, embraced me and gave me a kiss on the lips. I remember him coming out and the first thing he did was just smile and give me a warm embrace with another kiss. And I remember immediately thinking, what does he think this is? Somebody that you've never seen this at all. In 1992, he went like this. <laughs> One, One came, came out recently, recently where I was, I was sitting, sitting alone, alone in some, some club. club. I, I, I really don't, don't sit alone that much. Honestly, I'm sitting alone. I go over to Bruce and I was sitting alone by myself. And then I went, what? When I saw him at the debate, and Anderson Cooper asked him, have you ever kissed a woman without consent? And he said, no. I, um, I just think all those feelings rushed back to me. I felt that it was my responsibility to write something at that point. Why? Why didn't she write what she said happened before she wrote the story? Why didn't she put it in the story? The story would have been one of the big stories. I was the big star of The Apprentice. Why didn't she do it 12 years ago? 12 years ago. She's writing the story. Now think of this. Think of this. She's right. She's a liar. She is a liar. He then grabbed my shoulder and began kissing me again very aggressively and placed his hand on my breast. I pulled back and walked to another part of the room. He then walked up, grabbed my hand, and walked me into the bedroom. I walked out. He then turned me around and said, let's lay down and watch some telly telly. He put me in an embrace, in an embrace and I tried to push him away. I pushed his chest to put space between us, and I said, come on, man, get real. He repeated my words back to me, get real as he began thrusting his genitals. Every woman lied when they came forward to hurt my campaign. Total fabrication. <laughs> the events never happened, never.